Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel. So now we are going to discuss about one of the reporting uh, tool. So that is called as OTBI reports. Generally, when we create a OTB reports, so what are the OTB reports and uh, how we can create those things based on the, the business user's requirement. So here the advantages of the using OTB reports are without having any technical knowledge or any coding knowledge, we can create our own reports. That is how the Oracle has designed this program, OTB. OTB stands for Oracle Transactional Business Intelligence. So what is the navigation to access it? So each financial model should have the, their own OTB reports, which is already predefined in Oracle application. So once you like an application, go to tools, click on reports and analytics, and click on browse catalog. Click on create. Click on analysis. This will take you through subject areas. So subject areas will come under the OTB reports. So each model or each financial models should have their own subject areas predefined in Oracle. So now just I want to create one of the report for me under receivers. Just type as a receivers and it will filter out all the receivable related subject areas. Says that receivables adjustment real time receivables, bills receivable, real time. So likewise, it will be there. You can choose which one you want to create. So sample purpose, I'm taking as a the last one here, receivables, transaction, real time data. Just click on that. It will take you through the, the page where you can lay out the proper template. So the left hand side, we can see subject areas on top of that we will see criteria result prompt advance these four tabs are having the required information about the report what we are going to prepare in. criteria so what are the fields or columns needs to be captured for this report that is comes under the criteria so in our use case i'm taking as a i want to see the who is the customer account? I want to see customer account. Click on expand and look at where the customer name or account numbers are available. Build to customer account number. Just drag to select column area and minimize. Minimize and here. And I want to see which business unit entries I want to showcase into the report business unit name, drag it here and minimize. And under financials, we'll see account periods and dates, whatever you wanted that will be available here. Financial or physical calendars, account date or period. If you take as accounting period, that is enough. Or if you want to based on the requirement, you can drag Accounting date also. That is enough for me now. And go to transactional details, line details. So if you want to track by transactional line details, these are the line details are available. If you go and click on line amounts, you will see there are multiple areas are there, which you can see. Each line, the line, line amount can be dragged from here. And um, scroll down, transaction details. Click on that. I'm just expanded. I want to see entered amount. So this is the basic simple information I want to see. And also if you want to see ledger currency as well. So now I'm going to build the report by looking or taking this five columns, build to customer account number, business unit name, 
and accounting period, transaction amount, ledger currency. So here, if you go and click on the setup here, we can sort it out the way how you want to filter it. So likewise, you can do that. So now, as part of the report building, we have chosen what are the criteria needs to be have. Next, click on result. If you go and click on result, it will populate the, the information what we have taken as a criteria. It will take a while. If you see the right hand side, not top, retrieving data, please wait. And also on top menu, we can notice that there are a couple of tabs are available where you can print this analysis or uh, export this analysis, schedule this job from here. If you want to schedule the, this report from clicking, I mean to say by clicking on this tab, we can schedule this job as well as. And also there are a lot of things are available here. See, it is populating the other required information for these columns. If you okay with having this information, go to next prompt. Prompt is nothing but as a parameters, which parameter you want to keep it as a prompt while running the report by business users. So click on plus symbol here. And I want to keep it as a business unit. If you want to make the business unit name is a customization, then click on custom label and add any one name or prefix or suffix. Let's say example XX. And also you can provide description as well as an operator is equal to or between. Based on your requirement, you can select the operator from the list of values here. For now, I'm giving as a equal is in and user input. Either text field or choice list or check boxes or radius or list. Let's say example list and click on option to see more information here. So enable user to select multiple values. Yes. Required user inputs. Keep it as yes, yes, mandatory. And this is fine. And going to click on more, you will see list box width is 120. Or dynamically, if you want, you can keep it dynamically, it will display that. It will adjust accordingly. Click on general, save OK. So this is how we can use parameters as a prompts. If you want to add multiple parameters, click on plus symbol again, go here and bring that point. So let's say example, accounting period. I want to keep it as a one more parameter. So now I want to see the parameter as a date. It is not about like, you know, just like a parameter, right? I want to keep it as a month. In that case, you can give as a between. It's between. And uh, I choose as step values and say options. Required user inputs, say OK. Then down it will display as a view for us. How it looks like. How would be? Looks like it is. See here. According priority will be populated in this fashion. If you want to make changes, I don't want to see in this fashion, then go and select the particular row. You can edit. I want to keep that as a checkbox. Save OK. Come down. Accordingly, it will get changed. See here, it is coming in this fashion. So the way how you want to keep the parameters accordingly, we can check that. Click on edit and go to text field and let's see how it looks like. Scroll down. See, it is coming this way. You can enter from your end. Go top again. Select. Click on edit. Choose as list of values. And save OK. If you see this data set fine for you, and go and click on view tab. It will give us that like you know, preview of the report, how it looks like after we enter the data. So this is how it will come. 
say cancel here and now if everything looks fine for you click on advanced to see the the query what array class built based on your parameters i mean to say your criteria inputs this is how the like you know array class build the query then go back criteria again is if you want to make some changes accordingly you can make before you go and save the records click on save as so now if you want to publish this particular report to your across the teams or across the application then you can go and save the report under the share folder or if you want to keep it is only with yourself then you can go and place a file under the my folders select by go and click on any of the folder and choose that under which model you want to place this report if you want to keep it as a under my folder go and click on that and provide the name saying that trx underscore report i want to place this report under my folder where other people would not able to access this, this report say okay so now my file this report is saved under my folder click on catalog go back to original page see now it is coming under my folder trx report here again we can see there are three tabs are available open edit and more if you go and click on more you will see there are multiple parameters which i already we shown under the your odb report developing the same fields again it will be populating from here if you want to schedule the job you can go and schedule out if you want to send the email notifications you can go and send the email notification accordingly let's say example you can click on schedule it will ask you to schedule the job so this is how we can schedule the job saying that general not schedule and you can go and schedule right now general schedule frequency at what frequency you want to schedule the job let's say example i want to run every day daily basis every 15 minutes so at at about say every 1 minute based on the need we can select and no date and uh, select end date right and conditions can you record things here conditions and uh, if you want to like you know do some mod modifications you can do that modifications also delivery content go and click on that you can put that what delivery message has to go to the your target audience that will be goes to them uh participants who is going to receive the your this particular report that we can give the recipients and these two tabs like you can use based on your requirement destinations and then action if you go and click on destination you can see that how it looks like i want to see an email the self the email so select likewise you can select you click on action then so this is how we can see the report so now go back again catalog i don't know the schedule right now going back to original page click on open go tab choose which one you want yes one is the one and i want to get the report for certain period or year for example 2025 March. Select, save. Okay. So now it will reload the required information based on the inputs. It will take a while. Under the March period. what are the accounting entries i mean to say what are the transactions been created 
those entries will be populated into your report now. If it takes a while. Yes. Yeah, it has populated. See here, the, this is the customer number and under the business unit, US1 business unit, accounting period. It is coming multiple things here. So, transaction entered amount and ledger currency. Just go and click on export into Excel. Click on open file. So this is the report got generated. So this is how we can develop our own OTV reports based on the need. Summary of this call, how to create OTV reports by using subject areas. So based on the your requirement on each finance models, we will go and create our own OTV reports without having any technical knowledge or coding knowledge from our side. That's all. Thanks for watching my video. Please do subscribe, share and like. Thank you.